Now that you know what SOS is all about, you might also want to know how you can participate. There are six steps that you need to go through towards becoming an SOS volunteer. Step 1. Volunteer application. Step 2. Panel interview and facilitation demo. Step 3. Selection of volunteers. Step 4. Volunteer preparation and formation. Step 5. Volunteer deployment. Step 6. Crossroads. Step 1. Volunteer application. Secure the SOS application form from the Center of Social Action. Fill up the application form. Make sure to submit your application before the deadline. Upon submission of your application, schedule your panel interview and facilitation demo with the CSA. Step 2. Panel interview and facilitation demo. This is a panel interview with CSA coordinators wherein you are expected to tell us more about yourself, your motivation for volunteering, as well as your talents and skills that you can share as a volunteer. You are also expected to conduct a five-minute facilitation demo of your preferred topic. At this stage, the members of the panel will look for qualities that meet the criteria for SOS volunteers, such as commitment to volunteer for two weeks and undergo the volunteer preparation and formation activities, possession of the necessary knowledge and skills needed for volunteer work, ability to effectively work individually and collectively with a team, ability to communicate well, open-mindedness and flexibility to new situations, ability to inspire others. Being on time is the trait of a good volunteer, so make sure you arrive on or before the interview schedule. Step 3. Volunteer Selection. If selected, CSA will inform you of your volunteer assignment, deployment area, and volunteer team. Once you accept the position, you are now officially an SOS volunteer. CSA reserves the right to select volunteers based on its criteria. Step 4. Volunteer Preparation and Formation to prepare you to become an effective volunteer and for the challenges that you will face as an SOS volunteer, you will be required to undergo all trainings and formation activities. These trainings and formation activities are General Assembly of SOS Volunteers Basic Orientation Seminar Skills Training and Team Planning Send-off Ceremony Failure to attend these trainings means you forfeit your position as a volunteer so make sure you are available on the dates of these activities. Step 5. Volunteer Deployment Finally, after all the training and preparation, you are now ready to be deployed to your area of assignment together with your teammates. In the area, make sure you fulfill tasks effectively and document your volunteer experience. Always remember that as an SOS volunteer, you are representing De La Salle College of St. Benilde. So don't forget that school policies and rules still apply while you are in the area. Step 6. Crossroads. This is a two-day session for reporting and evaluating all aspects of the SOS process. By the end of the crossroads, we will be handing you your certificate. So what are you waiting for? Get your application forms and submit it to CSA. If you want to know more about the SOS, feel free to visit us at the Center for Social Action, 3rd Floor Miguel Fabres Cordero Building. DLS CSV Taft Campus.